This segment brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne and Levi as they discuss AI and breeding barns. Dwayne Tames joining you once again with Ag AM in Kansas. And while at the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Expo, an opportunity to catch up with Levi Ebert and Ebert Ranch. Levi, you did a demonstration uh, at the uh, Farm and Ranch Expo this year uh, with uh, a breeding barn uh, conducting some artificial insemination on a set of heifers utilizing a rawhide corral system. Tell us a little bit about uh, how that works for an operation and, and how easy it could be for individuals that wanted to get into an operation and program like that. Right. Hey. Dwayne, AI is getting to be an ever-growing um, way to get your cattle bred. Um, bull prices are going up. We need to. People are wanting to increase genetic power and not have to do it with a bull that's only going to breed 20 or 25 cows. Um, this way, we can breed hundreds or thousands of head of cattle in a day or two weeks or a week in a week's time and increase your genetics very, very rapidly. And with that, it's, it's, it's a very simple process. Obviously, uh, you had some sponsors there that uh, talked about some of the synchronization protocols that you utilize to, to have a successful program. That's right. For our demonstration today, Zoetis donated the synchronization um, products to get these heifers synchronized. Um, with that process on these heifers that we, that we bred today, we did a seven, what they call a seven-day cedar protocol. Um, a week ago, uh, on Tuesday, we put a cedar in, gave a shot of Factrel. This, uh, just uh, 60 hours ago, we pulled that cedar out, gave them a shot of Lutalice, and then we time bred them on 60, 60 hours today with another shot of uh, Factrel. You know, you utilized a, a breeding barn that uh, they've been pretty popular as of late. Tell us a little bit about some of the, the features of that that makes it successful for guys. The features on the on the breeding barn, there's really no exact science to it. Um, there's a gentleman in, in western Nebraska that originally invented the idea. Um, but it's those cattle come in, it's dark, they've got a curtain that, that hangs down behind their shoulders to uh, and to keep lighter movement from coming in and around their head. And with that, they stand calmer, they stand quieter. And we've taken some rather nervous cattle over the years and brought them into that barn in an AI program and calmed them down a lot to get the AI part of it done, which directly relates to conception rate. Um, we have seen um, large increases in conception rate by running them through those AI barns versus just a plain old squeeze chute. And you utilized a portable corral system as well. It really shows the flexibility that, uh, that you don't have to own those facilities yourself. That's right, Dwayne. We can set up anywhere we want, have pastures that you don't have a pen with, um, whatever the given situation has is, we've got a portable setup that we can come to you with corral and barn and work those cattle just about anywhere. Levi, you referenced uh, genetic advancement, uh, utilizing some of the top genetics in the industry. That really is where the bottom line and the payoff is for those producers that go to a system like this. Yes, that's correct. We can, we can increase growth in two ways with this type of a program. Um, one, we're front-loading your calving season, so you've got more calves born early in your calving season, so you get more pounds in that aspect. Plus, we're also working with bulls that we have 80 to 90 percent accuracy on their EPDs with, and with that, we can, we can take a look at your operation and say, all right, how much do you want to increase weaning? What do we need to do with calving ease? And very quickly, we can bump weaning weights from up, upwards of 20 or 30 pounds in one year. Our thanks to Levi Ebert joining us here on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Folks, come back after these messages from our sponsors for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. 